Hi folks, at the bus stop again, got done with some more lures. Here's a little uh, hog wobbler version of uh, PVC hard foam. Um, I guess I've displayed this one before in a blank condition. Now I've managed to put on the color code and top coats. And uh, here's a small lure of a butcher wood for perch and maybe trout could also take it. Another smallie. Here's the last turn one of uh, also a batchy wood. Uh, this one has a little belly weight about here behind the uh, belly hook hanger plated with uh, aluminium tape and all are painted with model making animals. Here's a big uh, perch colored lure also hand carved of a bachi wood. This thing uh, uh, probably I've overweighted it. It ha really has lots of lead in its belly. I'm uh, gonna see whether it will still swim. Here's a, another little weird looking lure in a frog pattern. Also painted with model making, uh, with uh, acrylic paints. Did I say model making animal before? I painted them all with acrylic paints. Only the dots are made with model making animals. Uh, don't know if you can see it in the video. On this one I've painted the acrylics wet and wet. Uh, to get uh, this uh, effect. Uh, I really got to learn a lot more about painting acrylic paints. They, they provide better options than model making animals. Here's a shallow diver of American basswood <coughs> given to me by a friend from Tennessee, USA. Uh, this one does not have any added ballast if my memory serves me well. Also plated with uh, um, aluminium type where I have embossed a little pattern. Okay, these were all the new lures. Uh, here are some blanks. Here's a finished minnow. Got to try this whether it swims. I've embedded some lead weight, so I want to see. The lure is made of a batchy wood. Uh, pretty buoyant. I want to see whether it uh, dives at all or I need to place more ballast inside. Has a finished saddle lip. Uh, just temporary tape this one. Uh, I'm planning on foiling this lure as well, so I would glue in the lip after foiling. But first I have to see whether it will dive. It's very buoyant. Probably will just dive a few inches, but that should be okay. Here's another uh, blank one of Meranti wood. Uh, this wood is not that buoyant, so probably I can get along without placing... Uh, it has ballast actually. Some little two pieces before and after the belly hook hanger. Gonna see whether it will swim. And here are some of the last video that I wasn't satisfied with, so I've tinkered on the lip of this Australian style deep diver. Made it more narrow towards the body. And uh, here's the pipe lure from the last video. First I've tried to tinker uh, by with the lip angle, but I wasn't satisfied, so I placed some belly weight, tried to hide it. Uh, there's a little air bubble, but so far it doesn't look that bad. And I've put a second uh, attachment eye. So I'm gonna see whether this helps to improve the action. And here's a perch collar lure that I also wasn't satisfied with. I just bended the lip more forward on this one. Uh, I'm gonna see how they swim now. Alright. Okay, first I will try the uh, lures that I've been doctoring on. Well, they would swim well now. Okay. Still has a bit more roll. But I'm okay with this one. It's better than last time. So, bending the lip forward decreased the roll a bit. I'm okay with this one now. Alright. Now I'm very eager to see the pipe lure. 
um, with added belly weight, hangs quite a bit deeper. Yeah, still rolls a lot on the first uh, first uh, attachment eye. The weight helped a bit, but not that much. So let me try the new toe eye on the nose tip. Hmm. This wiggle is very tight now, and it runs quite a bit deeper. Now, not that satisfied, but still manageable. Very tight wiggle it has now with the second toy. Uh, if I bend the lip downward again, then uh, the wobble on this nose tip toe eye would increase. But I'll leave it like this. I shall see. And now this little Aussie, di Aussie style diver wiggles better, but still has this irregular hunting action. Of course it requires toe-eye tuning. It swims somehow in an S-shaped curve now. Hard to tell in the bathtub. Uh, I shall see in the outdoors once the pond, the ice has gone from the pond. Hmm. I usually had luck with this kind of lure. I shall see. Okay, now the blanks, the Miranti blank, yeah, nice one, no complaints, I estimate, I hope it will not lose too much of his uh, left buoyancy after painting and top coating, I do not want to, so it should be okay. It pops up fast enough. No complaints. It should dive down 10 to 12 feet, I estimate. I've made similar lures before. Now the buoyant uh, finish style mineral of a batchy wood. Yeah. Works nice. Still dives a bit. No. Very nice one. I like it should go down two and a half feet, two feet. No complaints about this one as well. So I can finish it. No need to add more weight. Okay, now the new lures. First one, the basswood. Uh, that one has quite a, quite a roll. But doesn't blow out. Would we'll dive one, one and a half feet. Too much body roll for my liking. But well worth a try. I could reduce lip size if I wanted to. Need to test it in the outdoors as well. Um, now this one made of a batchy wood and has quite a bit of weight in its belly. Ah nice, very lively action and tail shake. I love that one. Should go down well estimated five feet, six feet maybe. Oh, no complaints about this froggy colored one. Um now the perch, heavily weighted of Abachi wood, yeah, hardly floats. Oh, nice. That is fine. Also will not dive too deep, I guess. 
probably three feet, I estimate, could have placed a tad less weight inside. But I like it. Okay. Now the last tank minnow of a batch you would also has a belly weight. Uh, very lively action. I like that one. Also a shallow diver. Uh, I love that one. Very nice. Okay, always good feeling, lures turn out to work nice, so uh, these ones could be problematic, the small perch ones are lovely. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Very nice wiggle. Also will go down two feet, not more than that. Now, uh, second one, perch lure. Oops. Does, no, doesn't blow out. As usual, all lures require tow white tuning. Uh, this one is lovely, as I, I just like. I was scared that they will not work. Uh, I'm just carving lures randomly, so I'm uh, relying on my experience, but sometimes uh, it fails. Well, that's the nature of the business. So I'm very happy about the action of this one. Oh, yeah. Can't see them watching it. Just like it. Hope the fish would do as well. Right now, ponds are still iced out. Blue fishing season over here commences May 1st, so still a few weeks to go. Alright, here's the little version of the uh, hog wobbler. That's a lovely lure as well. Running on surface or slightly below. I'll keep quiet, probably if you can hear the props churning. I have great expectations to catch on these hog wobblers because uh, originally the American Musculus, this is the downscale version of myself, so uh, and they have a good reputation, so I don't see any reason why local perch and aspen pike shouldn't take a bite on these. Alright, this is my lure test for today. Thanks a lot for your interest. Uh, goodbye, see you next time.